All right, Joe, it's a pleasure to see you again. How are you doing? Good, Adrian. How are you? I am doing well. I had, a, I had interviewed Jeff Bass for the Pymage Conf uh, for the video series we're doing a couple of days ago. I had horrible allergies. So now I'm finally starting to feel better. <laughs> not allergic to cats, I hope. I am not allergic to cats, luckily. Just pollen, Good. apparently. Good. <laughs> so why don't you tell us about who you are and what you do? Well, uh, I live in a fishing village called Terrence Bay in Nova Scotia. I run a small consulting business called Numist Media, which specializes in computer vision. Okay. Um, a lot of the work now is uh, medical imaging, ultrasound specifically, uh, but I also have a lot of background in augmented reality, um, some virtual reality training simulation projects, and uh, a variety of classification and detection projects, including work with cat detection <laughs> and, uh, and other forms of animal detection. Um, I write books for Pact Publishing, which mm -hmm. is how a lot of people know me. Yep. And you know what, that's actually, you were like an inspiration for me actually to get involved in computer vision. When you, when you were publishing your original books, I think I was probably in my fourth year as an undergraduate. So I didn't even reach grad school at that point. Yeah. Oh, wow. I remember going through your books to like help me get started with Open City Library. Well, that, that's exciting to hear. And I, I mean, I, I often hear from, um, people who have taken the books as a starting point and uh, gone and done amazing things in computer vision. You obviously have uh, built a huge community that, um, that shares that kind of knowledge even further. And uh, it's, it's exciting to me to be uh, coming to California to join you guys. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Everything just comes full circle here. We're just a great community. So uh, tell me, or you told me earlier today that the name of your talk was going to be Visualizing the Invisible. Now, I don't know what that means, but it sounds really cool. So you know, tell <laughs> us about it. Um, so uh, this talk uh, delves into the area of augmented reality. And um, in augmented reality, uh, if you care about measuring and positioning things with a high degree of accuracy, uh, often you're going to rely on some kind of fiducial marker. But um, the fashion is that you, you want AR to be invisible, you want it to look like magic. Uh, so a lot of the tracking techniques used in AR uh, can also work outside the visible spectrum. Um, Connect famously is one device uh, that, uh, that takes advantage of the near infrared spectrum. Uh, but we're gonna look at uh, a couple of different uh, techniques for using invisible parts of the spectrum in AR. Okay. Interesting. What type of um, applications will, will we, will, 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 what type of applications will we be creating with it? Uh, we'll do a 3D tracking uh, and uh, AR application. Um, so you'll, uh, you'll be able to see graphics superimposed on um, objects, 3D objects in real time um, without, uh, without a visible uh, fiducial marker on, uh, on the object. Yeah, that, that just um, sounds so interesting to me. Like, I, don't, I don't have a lot of experience with you know, the invisible spectrums and you know, just having you there to, to teach all of us, man, that's gonna be a wonderful experience. Well, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited about it too. Um, and uh, where, where I wanna go with this is to uh, get people 
beyond sort of the the initial track and image type of mm-hmm. application um, that uh, that is sort of a, a a staple of computer vision textbooks yep. now, right? And um, yeah, get into real three D tracking. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you, Joe. You know, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know how busy you are. Um, just want to say thank you on behalf of myself and the rest of the Pioneer Search community. You know, thank you for doing this talk and for having taking the time to do this interview today. Thank you. Right. I, uh, I look forward to seeing you and, uh, and your community in person. So looking forward to it. Talk right, to you, Joe. Bye for now.